Well, good day, YouTubers. How's she going today? So, we've uh, started a little project out here in the shop before winter comes. Uh, as you know, I did some talk about the uh, Kubota tractor, the uh, cutting edge on the uh, bucket. Um, and is what the problem was with the cutting edge on the bucket. Um, first, we're going to show you the tractor. We uh, the kids' bikes and everything in here, but we took the bucket off the tractor. She's off, and uh, we're going to do some cleaning up, obviously, on some of the front end of the tractor here and whatnot. But uh, yeah, so if we go over here. We got the bucket laying on the floor. Man, I didn't realize how heavy a bucket was till uh, I took it off. So the edge of the bucket here is quite worn, as you can see the. Uh, these little side things are actually sticking out further than the cutting edge. That's not right. The cutting edge should be way out here. Um, so I've ordered from Kubota a bolt-on cutting edge. So this week I'm going to be drilling holes all across the bucket like this. And we're going to put on a bolt-on cutting edge. But uh, I've also made a template because I've noticed that the sides of the bucket here are very thin and they're not very strong. So I'm going to add some quarter inch steel and I've already made a template to come around the edge. Actually, there might be more light on this side, folks. So we'll get over here. Yes, there we go. I've made a template that uh, sits just around this and down here and like this. And then it comes right up the angle of the bucket like this all the way to the top. And we're going to be welding that plate on there and welding the top edge of it all the way up here and that's going to reinforce the bucket here to stop it from bending. Um, the buckets on these, this is more of a snow bucket, they're not very strong. So I guess we wait uh, as it's a long weekend so we're waiting for the parts to come in but uh, when the parts come in we're going to start uh, running the old bucket on the drill press and getting the holes in it and start grinding it all up and cleaning her all up. So I'll uh, be back out with the video uh, camera and we'll record that when we get her going. But uh, we'll show you the project pro process uh, of putting the cutting edge on the bucket. Okay folks, so uh, is what we did is we got the uh, 3 sixteenths uh, plate uh, four by two and I did cut it into shape and I started tack welding it uh, onto the side of the bucket here uh, and I'm just going to stitch it all along the front that'll make a nice hard edge um, we'll just kind of show you what we've been doing over and, uh, make sure you're getting that don't stare at the arc uh, flash you folks on the camera are fine to watch the arc flash as it's shielded through the, uh, through the camera Okay. Okay, so we got the uh, we got the plates all welded into place, and uh, I don't know how well we can see this with the lighting, but uh, we got her in place. She's all welded up good. I'm gonna try and get some more light on here. As you can see, the edge of the bucket here all looks like one piece. It almost looks factory. Almost looks factory that edge. So we're gonna prime it up and we're gonna paint it. Here's the side of the bucket here. As you can see, nice hard thick piece of steel. I welded all the way down the edge. I ground it completely flush so it looks like one piece. The back was just a series of uh, tack welds because I didn't want to get uh, too much heat on it. But we got a good bead of weld all the way down here. That ain't going nowhere. And this side as well. I reinforced along the back edges here where the factory weld wasn't too good. And uh, we have ordered the uh, cutting edge, so I'm going to have to drill out the uh, edge of the buckets here to put the cutting edge on. 
and uh, I've been using this stuff too. I don't know what the heck it's called. I think it's called, it's called Totally Awesome is what it's called. And this stuff removes just about anything. Like that's not grease in the bucket there. That's just wear and scratches. That's, that's scratch straight to hell. But uh, we're gonna get a good heavy duty primer, prime this whole bucket, and then we're gonna shoot her uh, Kubota orange. And she's gonna look brand new. We're also gonna take that cleaner and clean up the uh, arms of the tractor here, all the grease. Anyway, so you got the idea of what's been going on out here in the shop, the bucket repair. Uh, that was uh, 3 16th steel. 3 16th steel plate I used on the sides. And uh, again, we've got a good hardened steel cutting edge coming factory from Kubota with the holes pre drilled in that. And uh, we'll slap that on the bottom of the bucket and she'll be brand new for the winter. I'll, uh, I'll show you the cutting edge in another video, folks. Have a good day.